Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another top 10 video. And you know, I just happen to be flipping through my movie guide on the old cable box and came across a few movies that I thought, you know, this probably would have made a pretty popular cartoon show. And if you're a 40 uh, something guy that likes to collect action figures, then, well, you probably like cartoons like me. Now, cartoons and toy sales go hand in hand. In fact, uh, most of the time, cartoons are made specifically to sell toys, which, you know, it's the way it's been, and I'm okay with that. We get a good entertainment and a good action figure out of it, so I'm down. And while a lot of the times toy companies will have a cartoon made to sell that toy, sometimes it goes the other way around. There's a hit movie and a toy company gets the idea, hey, let's make some action figures of this and sell it with an animated series. Of course, we had the real Ghostbusters uh, from the Ghostbusters film and was a huge success on Saturday mornings and in the afternoons, as well as a very popular toy line that still is going strong today. And then we had shows like The Toxic Crusaders, which had all the gross-out factor kids loved. It was a very fun toy line, but was always odd because it was based off of a very rated R film. Then enter shows like Robocop, again, based off a very rated R film, but was fun to watch and had a fantastic toy line to go along with. And alongside RoboCop, you had Rambo and the Freedom Force. This actually predated the RoboCop series and, again, was an attempt to take a very rated R film, market it towards kids, and sell an action figure line to rival that of G.I. Joe. Another cartoon based off a very adult-themed film was Beetlejuice, Tim Burton's film with Michael Keaton and the ghost with the most. Uh, this was a very weird cartoon. I did watch it. It was popular on uh, my local Fox show. I believe there were toys that went along with this, but I don't think they were specifically for the cartoon. I think they were more towards the movie, but sold them at the time that this cartoon was out, and, well, yeah, that's what makes money. And then you had cartoons that were based off of movies that made sense, but they never made any toys that didn't make any sense, like Teen Wolf. This was a Saturday morning staple for me in the 80s, and I would have loved to have some action figures of these characters. And another Michael J. Fox-based uh, movie cartoon that made sense was Back to the Future. And uh, this was later on, well after the show, and it wasn't quite as popular as Teen Wolf, I don't think. And for some reason, Marty had Teen Wolf's jacket. I never understood that. And they never made any toys at the time. However, today, Nika is actually making these figures and they're out and you can buy them right now. So taking a look at these past films turned cartoon, it really made me think what films should have gotten a cartoon but surprisingly didn't. So let's go ahead and see what made that top 10 list. 
my number 10 pick is going to go to Twilight. Now, I really do not like this movie series at all. In fact, I think it's one of the worst vampire films ever made, uh, but it's super popular. There are people that like it and people that are probably cussing right now that I said that and are going to tell me so down in uh, the uh, credits below, but that's okay. It, you know, the film did make tons of money. The whole series did. And I'm shocked they did not make an animated series. It makes perfect sense. You got vampires, werewolves, a love story. These three main characters could be going on a supernatural adventures. Why was this never turned into a cartoon? And quite frankly, it could have been better than the actual movie series. My number nine pick is going to go to Hocus Pocus. Now, this was a 90s film that didn't really do so well when it first came out because, frankly, I think they put it out the wrong time of year. It should have been released at Halloween. I remember this being a huge rental movie, and it's been a Halloween staple for decades now. And I really think this could have been turned into a cartoon series, very much like Beetlejuice. Uh, you would have the three sisters, and you would have the cat, and the, t the teenagers, and the little girl. Uh, again, going on supernatural adventures. Uh, I, I think that this has a lot of potential, and still could be done today, uh, and, and shown on the, the Disney Channel, or Disney Plus. I just think it's got a lot of potential. My number eight pick is going to go to Disney's Alice in Wonderland live action uh, film series. And uh, I, this just has all kinds of potential for a cartoon series and for a toy line. Obviously, this would be something either in Disney XD or Disney streaming. I could see this as a two cell animation series or a computer generated uh, series. Either way, I mean, the Johnny Depp characters I mean, got that beautiful juice kind of pizzazz and taking Alice on all these crazy adventures with uh, the Queen of Hearts being the main villain and maybe getting seeing other parts of Wonderland we haven't seen in the films uh, or you know uh, other characters I just think this was a missed opportunity by Disney my number seven pick is going to go to Shrek. Now, we've had several little specials, animated specials for Shrek, like Christmas and I want to say Halloween, a few others. But I think this movie series is another one of those that could have made a great cartoon series and probably sold have sold a lot of toys uh, as well. This would definitely, I think, would have been better as a CG animated uh, cartoon versus a cell animated, but it might have been cool to see it in a cell animation and would have given us a great opportunity to meet a lot of other fairy tale creatures and see other realms of far, far away. My number six pick is going to go to Harry Potter. Again, not one of my favorite uh, movie series, but immensely popular around the world and by multiple generations. This film series has made so much money. There are action figures out there, books, toys, all kinds of stuff, but I think that they missed the mark in creating an adventure series cartoon out of this. Think about all the different adventures that these characters could be going on as wizards in school, and the magic of this, oh, pun intended, is that they could actually stay kids for a very long time as a cartoon. And uh, again, I think this is just something that was missed and should have happened. My number five pick is going to go to AVP. Alien vs. Predator. Now, in the 90s, Kenner did have a series of Aliens figures that were based off the Aliens movies like a decade later, and they also had uh, Predator figures, uh, again, based off the movies much later in time, but never, and we got Alien vs. Predator toys, but we never got a cartoon series of any of it, and I think that's a missed opportunity. Now, there was supposed to be an Aliens cartoon show 
never got developed. I think it got turned into a comic book, and that's where the toy line came from. But I think we could have had a fun sci-fi thriller horror adventure cartoon with this, with a group of humans hunting down aliens, maybe even teaming up with the Predator, because that's what they do in cartoons. Although, personally, I would have liked to have seen uh, the humans having to deal with the Predator and the aliens consistently, and, uh, you know, putting them in different adventures. I, I think it would be uh, very fun, and you could have sold a lot of toys off of this to a bunch of little boys and those savage little girls. My number four pick is going to go to The Dark Knight. Now, hear me out. I know we've got tons of Batman toys, tons of Batman cartoon series. However, we do not have a series based on the Chris Nolan films. And if we go back and look at Batman the Animated Series, that was clearly a take off the Tim Burton Batman uh, film. And it was just a wonderful series. And I think it would be fun to take this style of Batman characters, this version of the Joker and Two-Face and then Bane and Catwoman and Riddler and you know all the other characters in there and uh, you know I think it would have been a lot of fun uh, to see them. Did I say Riddler? I would like to see a Riddler. Maybe uh, it was the Scarecrow that we saw but uh, I, I think this would have been a hit show and we probably would have got a lot more really cool toys out of it and if it was anything like the original Batman the Animated Series it could have evolved into a new DC animated universe. My number three pick is going to go to The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, we've had some holiday specials and little short animates uh, for this movie series uh, before, but again, no continued animated series. We are starting to get toys for this film, which is very nice, but I think it would be fun to see a weekly animated series. Uh, again, this would really play itself to CG technology today. I think we're there. Uh, you couldn't do stop motion on a weekly. It'd be too expensive, but we could definitely do a CG animated series for sure today and see it on Disney Plus or Disney Streaming. Base it on Jack and Nero, maybe the, the little Halloween uh, trick-or-treaters. Really, you could pull all the characters into the show. I think it would pull a lot of audience, much like the Beetlejuice series. You could do a two-cell animated. Uh, that would look cool, too. I think it would be neat to see these characters in a different format, but I would say if you were going to do this, it'd have to be CG. And think of all the new toys we could get out of this. My number two pick has got to be Toy Story. Why was this never a weekly cartoon series? Now, I know, again, we've had several uh, holiday shorts and specials. Uh, we've got tons of toys off of this, so that's no big deal for them. But I think this would have made a great Disney XD or even a Disney Plus uh, series. You could have done this in either two-cell animation, which would have looked cool to see those characters in there, or a CG, which is probably what you want to do with this series. Um, I don't know. Maybe do the two-cell because... Um, you'd want a, a different look and not compare to the, the CG balls of the uh, movie series, especially the later ones, but this should have been a TV series. Think about all the new toy figures that we could have gotten and characters we could have met. Uh, this is just something I think Disney at one point was going to do, but dropped the ball on. Now, before we get to our number one pick, I want to give a special shout out to Frozen and Monsters, Inc. Uh, at the time of this recording, we have not had a series for either. We did get an Olaf's Adventures series, I believe, for Frozen, but not the actual movie itself with the movie characters. It was just, I want to say Olaf and the Reindeer, if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below. However, Disney has announced that they will have a Frozen cartoon series starring Kristen Bell. I'm not sure who else is going to actually be in this, uh, but uh, it will come out for Disney Plus in 2022 at the time of this recording. And we have a Monsters, Inc. Uh, a series that's called Monsters at 
work that is going to come to uh, Disney Plus in 2021 now. It was initially going to be 2020, but it got pushed back because, you know, the election infection. And uh, I think we've had several Monsters, Inc. Uh, holiday shorts uh, prior to this, but uh, these were definitely uh, movies, Disney movies, that had to, at some point in time, become a cartoon series, and, well, they are. My number one pick has got to be Deadpool. Why this is not an animated series, I, I just don't know. Um, he's wildly, insanely popular. He's had several comic books. Uh, he's in a lot of comics. The movies are super, super popular. And he's appeared in some of the uh, Marvel animated series. I want to say mostly Spider-Man. He might need have been in the X-Men animated for an episode, but I don't think he quite made it. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was quite that popular at that point in time or even invented yet. But uh, this is something that you could either, one, do an adult-oriented version that's full cussing gore and all that, which would be super popular, or you could do it, you know, kind of like Marvel's Spider-Man on Disney XD and make it more kid-friendly and accessible to kids since he can't really read the comics or watch the movie, but you know they want to, and uh, this would allow parents to let their kids, uh, you know, satisfy that Deadpool need. And think about all the toys we could get out of this, all the Marvel Legends and just, you know, regular toys out of it. I think it would be a lot of fun, and I think this is something that Disney Disney is missing out on. What do you guys think? Uh, which movies uh, did I miss that surprisingly don't have an animated show and should have? Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of my list? Make sure to give this a thumbs up. Jump over to my Facebook page. Join the conversation there. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews or Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.